Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, yeah, no, don't worry. I just, I just opened them up. It's still an unboxing. Oh, I, uh, I might have tried them on just, you know, just to size them. And I may have worn them out a couple times, but we can still call it an unboxing. So just, to shut the fuck up, okay? So let's fucking get it. What's up, motherfucker? No, oh, that's not my intro. What's up, YouTube? My name is Ali, better known as Last Minute Habits, and wow, three weeks straight, three weeks strong with three videos because you know, new year, new me. Um, that's a lie, I still can't speak properly because I'm just illiterate. Anyway, um, I'm excited to unbox this pickup for you guys and wow, I don't think I've ever done an unboxing on my channel, but there's a first time for everything. Um, people like the unboxings. I know I said that I would never create content that will saturate the internet, but the pickup, I haven't seen these specific boots. It's not a spoiler, you can see it from the title of the video, you know it's a boot. For this specific model, this boot, I haven't seen any YouTubers um, make any content regarding this boot, so I'm pretty excited to show you off this silhouette, and I'm very, very gassed to show you guys. Once I saw these boots, I was like, yo, I need to get those. I realized that they are pricey, they're very expensive, you know, it's not affordable by any means, but I realized Looked at my finances and I realized that I haven't picked up a lot of things and I haven't treated myself really recently so I realized I needed a new boot in my wardrobe and I already have black boots, I already have white boots so why not get a colored boot I would say. So I'm very gassed to show off this pickup to you guys so we're gonna get it right into the unboxing and Okay, so here's the size of the box. It's pretty, um, pretty decent size, a bit bigger than your normal pair of, sh pair of shoes. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, bam, file pair. Don't cut towards yourself, but who cares? Anyway, whoo! Oh my, okay. We don't need this. So, Hope the light picks that up. We got 1017 Elite 9SM. Wow, so beautiful. So yeah, I picked these up at Essence. I, I'm gonna talk about sizing, of course. I'm gonna talk about first impressions. I'm gonna talk about wear and tear, just because, of course, I've worn them already. I just wanna call this video an unboxing, but yeah, we'll get into all those details as we go through of the uh, live unboxing. So, has this big lid. Comes with a black dust bag that does say a leaks on it and has the drawstrings, you know, you know what dust bags are. So, live opening it has some white tissue, no fancy tissue. And bam! Whew. You see what I see? Mmm! Straight fire. Okay, so we're gonna go through everything here, okay? So from what I heard um, is that Matthew Williams went down to, I think, Texas to source out uh, the type of snake he wanted. Specific. No, I'm just fucking kidding. Um, this is not real snake. It's just a snake embossed leather. Um, it's very, very beautiful. Hopefully, the camera picks up those sexy, sexy details. It does feature a like a white, black, brown, and yellow um, type of snake prints. Um, but everything, man, just look at that shoe. Like, once you see this, you're like, those are the most sexiest motherfuckers I ever seen in my life. So this is from Matthew Williams, uh, Alix's Spring Summer 2021 collection. This is called the Leon Boot. Uh, the Leon Boot is not a new addition to the Alix uh, shoe family. I believe he introduced them in the Fall Winter 20 collection when he released a plain black one and a black python one but this is the first time he has introduced a like colored snake embossed version of this and i've never been more excited to make a purchase because 
you know, I'll, I would have loved the black one, but I already have black boots. I don't have a bottomless pocket. Of course, I would have bought the black ones, but since I wanted to add new additions into my wardrobe, this one I thought would fit very, very well, and it can go with a lot of things. Some of the pants that I do own already would go very well and partner up just beautifully and effortlessly. So I was on when I was on the lookout for a new boot, you know, it was obviously much harder because every time when you're looking for something, you can never find anything. But when you're dead ass broke is that's when you want to buy everything. So you know you know how the game goes, right? But when I saw these, these were like very unique to me and I was sold right away because this is not something that you find every day. Of course you can find snake print, but really what caught my eye was the silhouette itself and the outsole lining is not something that you see every day. It does, so it does have that square toe finish, which I really love, but that outsole lining is just so beautiful. It does have like that trapezoid finish, that rhombus, 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 I don't know my fucking math shapes, but that really caught my eye, and it was very unique from everything else, because I was looking at some Hyder boots, I was looking at other YSL boots. They're like timeless, but for what it was, it wasn't, I didn't like love it enough for me to pull the trigger on, but the Leon boot was definitely a new addition, and this is why I'm saying, is the Leon boot the best new silhouette when it comes to boots? Because this is, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Okay, so let's go through the details of the boot. So it does come up to an ankle length height. Um, it does feature this silver hardware zipper going right down the Achilles area. Um, when it comes down, what I really like is that in the inside, it does have like this ankle guard. Um, not this ankle guard, this zipper guard. So uh, you don't feel the, um, the zipper hardware rubbing against your Achilles area, your Achilles tendon. Um, so once you zip it up, I don't know, hopefully that picks it up, but you don't see the details of the zipper visible when inside. Um, it does have the uh, the snakeskin embossing going inside the shoe there. I told you about the colors, the black, white, gray, yellow, and brown. Like, they just go effortlessly together. They just complement each other so well to get that nice pop. It does have a two inch Cuban heel, which I really love, give me extra height for my Asian ass height. Um, it does have like this, I don't know if you can describe it, this ribbing detail right at the front of the toe box. Not the toe box, but like the forefoot area. Um, which is I think a cool added detail. It does have some stitching and seam details going right at the front uh, Going across the sole which I really love, you know, everyone loves the details But I think the highlight of the shoe is definitely that outsole. That outsole lining is just Just gorgeous. The sizing of it. So I bought a leaks in the past one of the boots that I do have, I actually got a true to size. I got a size 42 because I was recommending getting a 42. It does run a bit big, so I would have went down to my regular designer, which was a 41. But I throw an outsole in to make it work. So I did originally get a size 41 with this, but that shit was massive. That shit was, first of all, it was a lot wider. It is a lot wider silhouette if you do get your true to size, your true designer size. Um, and it does fit feature a longer outsole, of course, because of that lining. So I actually had to return the size 41 and I had to settle for a size 40. And the size 40 works perfect. The circumference of the opening just hugs my, um, my ankle very nicely for that nice uh, secure lockdown. And it does feature a nice snug, I like a snugger fit, but the 41 was way too ginormous for me, pause. And, but yeah, I made the 40 work and I'm very happy that it ended up working out and that it wasn't too small. Now, I like I said, I have worn these a couple of times. This doesn't bother me. I know it could trigger a lot of people, but I feel like at the bottom of the outsole, it does wear easily. At least that it seems like there's just like a coat of paint on it because as you can see from the bottom, there is some like wear and tear going on here. It is wearing off that paint around the common areas of where my foot strike is. And then of course, with any like hard to, uh, hard bottom, you're gonna get those indentations at the bottom of the heel there. So if that is an issue for you, then I won't recommend getting this, but it is definitely wearing 
pretty fast, but I like to wear my shoes to the ground. So this doesn't really bother me. No one's really looking at the bottom of my shoes anyway. It does have like, it's not really, but there's some grip at the bottom slightly. There's some, it's at the forefoot area where your common foot strike is, but it doesn't really do anything. It's not really grip. It's not very grippy at all. So, so now with the details out of the way, let's throw it on body. I want to show you how it looks on feet. And when I was deciding how to partner these up with different pants, I didn't want to go the easy route. Just show you off with some plain black trousers, um, which I'm going to really show you. But I didn't want to throw some black jeans, some basic ways to show you. So I'm going to show you one way with a different like a wider silhouette pant i'm going to show you with a colored silhouette pant and then i'm going to show you a silhouette that i would definitely wear on an everyday basis but if you want to switch it up and mix and match then don't be afraid to so i'm going to show you those examples right now okay so going back into your wardrobe with things that you already have because that's important you don't need to buy, continuously buy new things even though i know this is a new pickup but just because this is a louder piece you do not need new additions just to go with it okay so this is a good time to experiment like i've been saying so first pair of pants is a colored silhouette i know that this already has a lot going on and but i i promise you, you shouldn't be scared to experiment colors against patterns that already have color already too um so i thought my these pair of dickies that i've pretty much i think i showed this off of my vintage pickup video but yeah these are some red dickies they kind of look more expensive on body but that's what i really love i think it's really the pleating the same detailing that this gives off but i think that the red dickies go really well with the boot itself these kind of have like a little bit of a flare action these are not like i end up cropping these a little bit or kind of just getting them altered because they were like dead ass long but yeah, these go, I think these partner off with uh, very well together. I think my friend Rainer was saying this gives off a very like vintage disco-y vibe. Um, and I agree with him. So I, I would go with something a bit more like this black on top because you are going loud already from waist down. So trying to keep it more like simple, not too crazy. I mean, hey, if you want to wear some more like a snakeskin button up, go ahead. I don't, who cares, right? But for me, I think if I was going to wear these pants with those boots, I would have just go boots pants and like a black bomber or black jacket black top something like that okay so these are the dickies red pants i don't i know i've gotten a lot of ask about what this this um this model was I, it doesn't say so sorry so for the wider silhouette of course i went with none other than the peter doe pants um because uh why not so i did a inside tuck this time instead of an outside fat cuff just because i wanted to give her give it a altered look and also because they just run stupid long but i think this is when it's a good time to experiment if you don't know but understanding proportions, I think the wider silhouette with the longer silhouette of the boot like complement each other so well. I think that for me, being just 5'7", the skinny and boot look just doesn't look well on me. I just, I always second guess it. I, it just looks awkward. I've just never been a fan of skinnies in general. This is a good time to experiment what you have in your wardrobe if you do, but just experiment what you have and what works together. But this is a good time to understand your body. Um, we're in lockdown, so it's a good time to see what works in, mix and match things that you have in your wardrobe. So the, the like I said, the wider width and the longer silhouette just partner so well and that's what works with the water silhouette and in that you don't get the same effect with the skinnier silhouette so different shapes work very well with longer silhouette boots so keep that in mind so for the last pair of pants it's no other none other sorry none other than my favorite pair of pants and that is my saint laurent flare trousers these are still probably one of the best purchases i've ever made these are my these pants just look so good on me. They make me look taller, one. Two, they're just sexy as hell. Three, they just look effortless on anything that I wear with. So this is how I would personally wear it on an everyday basis. Um, but if I was eight, if I was wearing for something more louder, I would wear the other two. But for the specific boot, I would wear these pair of pants 
with this boot because they just look so good. Like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but they look so good. Um, high rise, flare finish. These just hit the boots so nicely. They just, you know, they just spill over the boot. Just so, so good. So those are the three ways how to partner this boot specifically in three different ways. One with color, one with a wider silhouette, and one with a slim flare silhouette. So those are just three ways you can incorporate and experiment. And it doesn't have to be just strictly those types of silhouettes. You can do it with any type. So just know and try out what works for you, okay? All right, guys, that concludes the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, 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 comment. Uh, um, but follow me on IG at whoislmh. Uh, my stories have become a battle rap slash R&B type beat because those stories have been the most engagement I've ever gotten ever because y'all really don't love me like that. Y'all just care about the voting. But anyway, follow me on there. Check me out. I got more videos coming through for you guys. I'm keeping it consistent um, as much as I can. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Stay safe and uh, peace.